feed. This year it's doing beautiful because it's been so hot, so the granules have been dissolved yeah. in the soil. And you can really tell it on your plants. So this is a uh, 12 4 8. 12 nitrogen, 4 potash, um, 8 is. Uh, Phosphorus and potassium? Phosphorus and potassium. Yeah. Potash is 8%. Phosphorus is 4%. So this is what I use for the soil. Now, if I'm starting a brand new fuchsia from a cutting, what I'll do first, I'll use this, Clonex. You can buy this at Stuberts. This is a uh, mineral base. Oh, the uh, nitrogen is very low and it's only 1%, but it has the pH uh, to 5.5 to 6.5, so it ad adjusts the soil to that. And what we do is, uh, this is mixed, uh, I think it's a teaspoon per gallon. What no, four teaspoons per gallon. What, what's the benefit of that product? The benefit of this product is when your fuchsias are so small, it promotes root, root growth because it's minerals. So are you talking about when you're striking cuttings or Yes, striking cuttings or potting. And also what you do is in your soil, you soak your soil first. And then before you put it in your little two inch pots, <coughs> squeeze the soil, get the excess moisture out of it, put it in your pot, and then make a little hole for your cutting to go in. Say the name of that again. Clonex. Clonex. Oh, Clonex. Mm -hmm. And Stuberts has this. It's about, this has lasted us for about two years. It's about 20 bucks for this quart. But it goes a long way. So you don't use the um, um, dip powder? No. That's a pain I use you this only. Yeah, but that's a pain if you do a lot of yeah, uh, a lot of growers, this is what they use. So as your plant is in the small container and is getting a few leaves, then I super bright is excellent. Super what? Super bright. Thrite. Super thrite. T H R I. V E. Thrite. Can you write that? And this is one eighth of a teaspoon per gallon. Take on the board. Mm -hmm. yeah. 